You've been hearing a whole lot about Jesse McFadden in the last week, the man who murdered his wife, her three kids, and two kids who came for a sleepover, and probably, probably molested and maybe murdered many other children. Some of the children featured in photographs and ledgers found in his sex torture chamber home by family members of the victims and then eventually by the police. And it turns out Jesse had a younger brother, still does, in prison, a guy named Cody McFadden. And Apple didn't fall far from Jesse's tree there. Cody McFadden has quite a rap sheet of his own, sadistic and violent crimes. Let's just run through them since 2010, shall we? Making meth, assault with a deadly weapon, battery, aggravated assault, arson, assaulting a doctor, assaulting a police officer, cruelty to animals. And just most recently, last summer, that's July of 2022, he locked his ex-girlfriend in a dog cage for an entire day. He tortured her. He beat her bloody with a stick to the point where there was blood on every part of her body. He reportedly used jumper cables to electrocute her. She escaped and he set his house on fire in a standoff with the police. He's currently in jail on kidnapping and felony assault. And to prove how dangerous he is, he's on $1 million bond, a million dollars bond. This is a guy who reported he had zero assets, zero income, that his, enti his entire employment was considered food stamps. A guy who has no money and gets a billion dollar bond. That's a guy they don't want getting out. That's a dangerous, dangerous felon. And that's Jesse McFadden's dear brother. I want to bring in Robin Dreek. He's a retired FBI special agent who managed the Bureau's counterintelligence behavioral analysis program. Robin, um, first of all, let's just talk about Cody for a minute. How was yeah. a guy walking the streets uh, as early as July of last year and able to commit that hideous and sadistic series of crimes against that girlfriend, that ex-girlfriend, with 15 years of violent criminal felony behavior. How was he walking the street last summer? How's any of this happen, Ashley? This whole system down there right now is a broken. I, as your last guest is saying, the former ADIC, he, he articulated perfectly. Everything down there needs to be redone and revamped, and you need to bring in outside people right now. The leadership needs to be shaken up massively. I can't explain any of this. It's just tragic, all of it, internally, externally, everything. I feel like the FBI should be all over it, and the Oklahoma authorities should just pack up and head out, especially how they're treating the press, telling the family members, we're not their friends, don't speak to the press, and then denying us any transparency at all when we just asked for the warrant, the results of the warrant, please. In the same place, you screwed up so massively for nine straight days. Can't get that either. Our freedom of information request was denied. No reason given other than the law, which is baloney and we know it. Okay, the other thing I needed to ask you about is looking at Cody McFadden mm -hmm. as compared to Jesse McFadden. Is there such a thing as a bad gene? It's just, it's shocking to me to see this much sadistic criminal behavior among brothers. So yes, ish. I'll say it's it's always a blend of nature and nurture in situations, and clearly there's a lot of nature in here too because lightning very rarely strikes twice to that degree genetically, but it can happen. But definitely, there's a lot of behaviors, and and both these individuals have what I call reps. They had a lot of early reps in life and started with animal cruelty most likely, and started to abuse them, and they just kept escalating throughout their lives. And it and when you start feeding on that, and you're in a community that's feeding on that, and like I just learned on your show tonight that there's a lot of other child defenders um, in the area. That is just a really bad situation where people are feeling safe to do really heinous crimes. And so that makes a recipe for disaster as well. And that information came to us from the lawyer for Ivy Webster's parents. Ivy Webster, one of the sleepover children who had come for a slumber party and ended up murdered along with six others. Um, the other question I have for you is, is it so far off to think that Cody 
may have engaged in any of the same criminal activities as his brother, given the fact that there was so much opportunity for Cody, who lived just around the corner and at one point lived in his mother's house with his brother when they were adults, uh, so much opportunity for criminal behavior right inside that, that sickening farmhouse. Is it a stretch to think that maybe Cody might be involved as well? I don't think it's a stretch at all. I mean, it makes sense. You have time and space overlaps. You have modus of life overlaps. They have very similar violent backgrounds. And so right now, and I, I love the fact that, you're, again, your last guest said the one, one of the things the FBI does really well is the child protection task force that we have. And that is they come in and they can start drawing linkages through data online, through the dark web, all these things that start spreading this net out to kind of figure out who's who, who's doing what, find victims and find the perpetrators more than anything because they're, they're out there. There's a – we have an opportunity here would, if handled would, well hey, Robin, to do that. wouldn't it be nice? Would it be nice if we could announce to that community that the – Oklahoma State Authorities, the Sheriff's Department, the FBI, they need your help. If you think you may yes. have been abused by this person, we need your help to find others. Nope, they won't speak to us at all. They won't even tell us what they took from the house. I think they're covering their butts in the worst way at this point. Um, and it's it's shameful to see what's transpiring in this awful, awful case. Robin Drake, uh, this is not the last time we're going to talk. We're learning yep. new things every day. Thank you so much. Absolutely. You betcha, Ashley. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.